Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. So today I'm continuing on the farm, farmhouse dinner table. I need to scrape uh, the glue from the underside of the table and then cut the table and square so that I can start attaching the breadboard ends. I'm gonna do it with dominoes because that's what I have. They look easy to make, number one, strong. And yeah, I'm excited. It's first time truly making breadboard ends. It's a little bit intimidating to me to think about breadboard ends, but I know with the domino I can make easy work of it. So uh, follow me along, let's do this. I want to give you guys a quick update. As you see, I got the bread pour ends installed. It looks beautiful. Man, I, I've never done it, but uh, I'm so excited. I already like the look of breadboard ends, but like I said, it was just intimidating to me for some reason. Now, I will say, if you want to do it the traditional way, props to those guys. I mean, those guys can do beautiful things, and I know it's doable, but for time's sake, the domino was my best option, and it was easy just to do. Next step is, I need to take those out now, and I'm gonna glue the dominoes to the tabletop, now what I did is the domino has two settings, a tight and a loose setting. So I drill or I plunge the domino holes on the main tabletop tight so those dominoes won't move and on the breadboard end loose so that gives you some, some wiggle room. And what I'll do is I'll glue the ones to the tabletop, the main tabletop, um, that way they're fixed. And then this ones, I will glue the middle one fixed so it doesn't move. And then the next ones uh, will be without glue, but I'll ping, ping them with a dowel. So it still allows for wood movement, but also it won't allow for uh, the thing to come off. And it will help me close the gaps. So right now I'm gonna glue, uh, take everything off, glue the, the dominoes to the main body of the table, and then drill the 3 8 holes for the, the dowels in the future. So let's do that right now.
the table is basically done. Uh, I know um, I try to do a time lapse for me doing the, the, the breadboard ends, but my battery died halfway through. We have some a lot of sanding to do. I just sanded the epoxy real quick. Now I'm gonna go back and sand the whole thing. That's why I did the pencil marks so I can gauge how much I've sanded so far. And then I'm gonna do 80 grit, 120 and 220. And then uh, I'm waiting to get my client's approval on samples. The reason I'm waiting is because I haven't given them the samples yet. So I'm gonna make the samples real quick. And then I have some two by fours that are for my next project. I'm building a prop for my church for this Christmas season. So I'm excited for that. Uh, so let's follow along. Today I'm only in the shop for a few hours. Let's see what we can get done. Let's do this. All right, the guys, oh. <laughs> so I finally got approval for stain. Uh, it's gonna be provincial by Min Wax. Uh, it's gonna look good. So last thing I gotta do in the shop today is apply the stain and do one more coat of black paint on the legs, which I have down here. <laughs> Finished on the underside. I did three coats. That's what polyacrylic 
recommends at least three coats. And so I flipped it over. It was really hard to do, <laughs> not fun to do things by yourself in the shop sometimes, but I asked my wife to come in and at least help me hold the table because the table was moving when I was trying to flip it. Anyway, thankfully nobody got hurt and we got her here. I did the first coat right now, it's drying. I'll give it another hour or so to dry. I'll sand it with 320, put another coat. I'm gonna try to do probably four or five coats until I see an even thick coat for the top. And then I also went ahead and assembled the base. So the base had about mm, maybe five coats of paint. I made this one assembly and that another assembly and then two apr aprons by ourselves. Right now I'm gonna use my um, biscuit joiner so that I can put some slots in the aprons so that not only I attach the table from the corners, but I also attach the table from the middle. So it will be really secure, but I still allow it to move with seasonal movement. And then when that is dry, when this is ready, I'll move that to here and the table will be done. This, this base is pretty strong, it's really nice. I'm excited, so I'm almost done with the table. So uh, let me cut those sluts and we can wait for the thing to dry. 